all right welcome back once again brothers yeah brothers because 99 percent of my youtube subscribers are men i don't know if you're a lady here watching welcome to the channel once again where you learn amazing amazing stuff in case you don't know if this is the first time you are coming across this channel my name is vicky melody some comedy playboy sound you understand i'm an artist i'm a producer i'm a mix engineer in one of the comments in one of the videos i dropped here someone suggested i do a video of how to master using only fab filter plugins now what i'm going to be showing you guys is just um a simple stuff how you could master your stuff now note that this is not like how you do like the big records like the professional um mastering but it's going to get you somewhere close you understand but now doing this with fab filter i don't master with fab filter i have a different plugin some of them are analog model plugins that i use for my mastering for professional jobs in case you have your mixes and your master and you want me to handle you could just slide on on my instagram it should be on the screen right now then we could relay i make songs for artists in the united states in the uk anywhere you are in the world you could just do it just enter and if you're watching subscribe now and um, turn on the notification turn on the notification bell button so you know when i post the next stuff if you are here to grow uh straight to the point let's just get straight to today now i'm going to show you i'm going to do a, a quick before and after of how it sounds then we'll now go I, I don't want this video to get so long and um boring so let's just head straight now this is the song without the mastering i don't want to waste time i don't want to slow the can't get like need now do you want to know making no form making no calm if you know what show i just want to hold the game we go make me laugh as so the game we go call me and now this is it with the mastering and everything i don't want to waste time i don't want to slow the can't get like need now do you want to know making no form Making no calm, if you know what show, I just wanna hold. They get we go make me laugh as so. They get we go call me night and day. Check if I'm alright, if you know she show. Okay, so that was it. I'm going to jump in. Sure. Now this is actually um, a song from two of my students. Uh, they just left here and um they, they they just made this beat and i recorded them and i i think they are they're actually learning quite fast. You understand? So now I'm going to take off everything I've added here quickly then we'll now start bringing in the whole stuff now the first thing i added here normally i would add a tape um emulator plugin but since we are doing fab filter i went straight to the saturn and i used um the clean tape and um normally what a tape does is to try to emulate analog sound because you know in real life we used analog stuff to play sound like your speakers those things are not digital they are analog you understand so that's why in the master in the system after our sound is being digital inside it needs to be represented in an analog way that's the way i see it so i used um, an analog um, based plugin normally i would use i would either use this guy this is one of my one of my favorite tapes that i use these days this guy is a tape plugin or i could just use I could just use the one from ozone 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 9 vintage tape they all do the same thing you understand so but since we are doing fab filter let's stick with fab filter so i use this to give it that um taste that i needed it was sounding like i don't wanna waste time i don't wanna slow the can't get like need now do you wanna know making no form making no calm if you know what show, I just wanna hold. They get we go make me laugh as so. Now at this point you couldn't hear any much of a difference, but if I could drive, if you increase your drive, you uh, you will really understand what you are adding. Let me just increase it and take it down so you understand what we are adding. Those things are just adding they are just passive loudness. They're not really adding some kind of loudness or stuff. They're just underground. Now those things will be now be exaggerated when you now use your last plugin, which is the limiter so that's one of the stuff that makes your sound so heavy and loud you understand those stuff that you're adding 
they might not be really audible because our ear can really pick up some certain dbs but when you now boost everything now everything that gets exaggerated and you see ah this professional sound is thick and heavy why my own is light and this is some of the stuff you feel you don't hear but they're the stuff doing the the work let me just do i don't wanna waste time i don't wanna slow the can't get like need not you wanna know making no form making no calm if you know what show i just wanna hold again we go make just like adding some harmonics in um in the frequency spectrum of the song that by making the song a little bit more full you understand that's why we use tapes you understand so after using a tape normally i will use um um a slit or any kind of um, analog um compressor that has high pass and um, the low pass so but since we are doing this i used um i used the normal far filter pro 2 proceed to you then i went to the side chain now what the side chain is doing is i'm trying to i'm cutting off the lows up to like 158 i don't want the kick and the bass to trigger the compressor understand i want only from 158 upwards the high frequencies the mid frequencies to trigger the compressor now note that this thing is different from multi-band compression a lot of people get confused and they think that using a side chain means we are only compressing the mid range and the highs no we are using this information we are telling the compressor to activate the, to compress everything according to what the mid range and the high is doing normally if i should not use this the kick will definitely be comp add, um, triggering the compressor and the compressor will react based on the signal of the kick but using this i, I, I want to reserve preserve my kick so i'm using this um uh, using a side chain we give the compressor an information from the mid range and the highs to trigger the whole body of the song but multi-band compression is just compressing each band individually but this one is compressing the whole stuff but based on the signal coming from your side chain but that's a, a different topic altogether i'm talking too much so i use the compressor and i give you like a ratio of four to one an attack of three that's usually nice then if you have auto release use it it works all the time so i was going for like a 3 db gain reduction then i compensated with plus three of gain so it was sounding like i don't wanna waste time i don't wanna slow the can i need not you want so i'm going to do a quick bypass and you listen to you find out that when i take off the compressor it loses some weight i don't wanna waste time i don't wanna slow the can i need not you wanna know making no form making no calm if you know you see he's giving you one kind of body and and perceived loudness not really loudness but it's just perceived loudness so after that that part and i used um a compressor now i was doing this i was using my my mind to just um do this master and normally this is not the route i go so but i now use the compressor now to now compress the whole body of the song but i was i wasn't going for so much of um, a compression like minus one of gain reduction to just glue the whole mix together you understand so it was sounding like i don't wanna waste time i don't wanna slow the can i need not you wanna know making no form making no calm if you know what show i just wanna hold yeah so after doing that i went straight to an equalizer uh, then i played with some frequencies i, I took off some frequencies that were bothering me and increase some mostly just do some sweeps you you just boost up stuff and you do some sweep and listen to each frequency and, and see the ones that sound good and see the ones that sound bad then you take them off so i was taking off this guy i don't make no for that part then this part this particular and uh, frequency Making now that particular frequency i i wanted to do a cut but then i had to now use for uh, let me let me make this bigger so i had to now use um dynamic eqing because um that frequency wasn't disturbing all the time it was just disturbing once in a while so i had to now use the dynamic eq to only cut when that frequency pops understand then i and i boosted um some of the presence i don't want to 
the vocal was jumping out um, being excited in that area and in this area too normally the 10k is usually a sweet spot in mastering to boost 10k 12k they're usually nice i don't wanna i need now as that um crisp sound to it so that was just it then i, I used a second eq now what i was doing in this particular equalizer was some stuffs that i'm going to explain now the first thing i did was you could see two low cuts and you'll be wondering what kind of cut is this these are just um <coughs> this first one is the normal low cut in the stereo of everything i was cutting off like 13 because it was usually really useless in the sound it wasn't adding anything reasonable to the mix let me just solo that part uh, i don't wanna you should be using your headset understand at this point if when i solo that point you wouldn't hear any reasonable stuff you just be hearing low rumbles of mm, that was adding nothing but if this was like a faster flow beat kick i would leave it because we need all the energy to you know to disturb the speakers you understand but this is like a slow cool song we don't need that so now the second low cut was now on the side that's one of the reasons i love this half filter pro q3 you can do eqing you can do side eqing you can do stereo eqing you can do left and right eqing and just different crazy so i had to now do a low cut for just the sides now i wouldn't want in a sound you wouldn't want low frequencies to seep um spread into your stereo image you want most of your low frequencies to be in the mono while the stereo now has um the high frequencies more so and i had to cut out this is the side uh, i don't I had to cut out the low frequencies from the sides, from the two sides of the earpiece, you understand? Then in the side too, and I had to give it a little bit of boost so that the, the, the stereo image will widen a little bit. I'm trying to go faster this time, so of course, uh, someone is actually waiting for me here, so I'm trying to do, be fast. I boosted this in the stereo. Uh, I don't want to you probably wouldn't be hearing any stuff but that's where i think the reverb where he had um, some energy that's i was giving it that boost then i had a stereo eq now this time around is a dynamic eq it's a dynamic eq for the high frequency where when that high hat comes like it's like a de for the whole stuff when it comes i just give you like a dynamic eq cut when it gets so loud if you now watch you see it's um attenuating I don't wanna waste time, I don't wanna slow. The kangala need not, you wanna know, making no form. Making so it's just activating, cutting when their hi hat gets too bright. If I was going to use normal a, a, a stationary um EQ and cut off that, I'll, I'll be cutting both every time, all the time, and like the vocal, and it won't be nice. So now the final source, which is usually the last stuff we add, is the limiter. Now I'm going to be using. Uh, if you if normally your limiter looks like this but when you're mastering you want to have it at loudness so that you you watch your short term representation you understand we have some certain um numbers we we gain for before we know we are satisfied with the loudness normally from minus nine to minus seven is a good place so i i boosted this is going to get so loud now so i gave you like um a plus nine db I don't wanna waste time, I don't wanna slow. The kangal I need now, do you wanna know? Making no form, making no calm. Now, if you look at the right hand side of, of um, these numbers here, around, uh, below the short term, you see it, those numbers. That's where you, you normally want to gain, look at, and also be looking at your gain reduction. These peaks that are red at the top, you wouldn't want it to be so crushed down. Uh, I don't wanna waste time, I don't wanna slow. So now a quick before and after then. Well, I should just do a quick before and after without the limiter then. I will not add the limiter. So guys, that was it. Uh, if you have a, a tutorial you want to see, um leave the comment down here then my packs and my um presets and them um, templates will be out soon so it's gonna cost just a little 
stuff you use to support the channel because i've been dishing out a lot of stuff then if you want to learn stuff go through the channel and if you have your mixes you want done um hit me on instagram and subscribe now i'm begging you now and if you have girls too let them subscribe because i need <laughs> girls right now so see you guys next time stay creative bye bye oh god